Okay. Well, good afternoon. Um, I am thrilled to be over here at the engine. We had the opportunity to visit and tour this amazing, this amazing operation. Uh, and we wanted to visit today because it's yet another example of the amazing potential that we have here in Massachusetts when we leverage our research universities, innovative companies, and unmatched talent. Organizations like The Engine are critical to supporting the tech and innovation startups that launch from our world-class colleges and universities every year. The Engine invests in startups that are addressing the most significant challenges we face today in healthcare, climate, manufacturing, and they recognize that we need to take an intersectional approach if we really want to address these challenges. We can't exist in silos. We need to bring together the very best in the world and the best and brightest from all fields in order to make the widespread progress we so urgently need. So I am thrilled to be here today, uh, joined by our Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll, also uh, joined by Secretary of Economic Development, Avon Howe, Secretary of Energy and the Environment, Rebecca Tepper. Uh, earlier, we were joined by Mass Tech Executive Director Carolyn Kirk, and uh, importantly, we have folks from the engine, including former State Senator Ben Downing and uh, Katie Ray, who leads the operation. We are grateful, grateful to, to folks for showing um, us and giving us the opportunity to visit today. This is amazing, amazing what's happening here. The chance for companies to come and continue research, but also fabricate and, and take things from uh, the laboratories to, to actual fabrication and think about ways to, to scale up is really, really incredible. Uh, a few weeks ago, my administration filed an immediate needs bond bill that recognizes the importance of tech and innovation in Massachusetts. It recapitalizes programs that are supporting innovative startups, like the ones we saw here today at the engine. It includes $52 million for programs that support advanced manufacturing, purpose-driven research, technology development, and emerging technologies. The bond bill will also provide new funds to support our state's proposals to the federal CHIPS and science bill. We're currently working uh, cross-collaboration between uh, government and private industry and research on uh, applications for this incredibly important funding that is going to come by way of the CHIPS and science bill. Today, we have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to harness the federal investment that's being deployed to revitalize domestic manufacturing and bolster support for innovative startups like those coming out of the engine. The Chips and Science Bill, signed by President Biden last August, is one of the major funding vehicles for us to achieve these goals, and Massachusetts is taking a leadership role to bring that funding to the state. Massachusetts has historically led. When it comes to innovation, we are going to make sure we do everything to make sure that we are leading in this time. And so we are um, here today, delighted to, to visit, look forward to collaborating as an administration with the private sector, with our wonderful research institutions and, and universities. Uh, this is a huge opportunity for Massachusetts. Massachusetts is going to compete and Massachusetts is going to win. And one of the reasons I'm confident for that is, of that is because we have our fabulous Secretary of Economic Development, Yvonne Howe, who I'd like to welcome to the podium right now. So this is very special for, uh, for many reasons, but especially for me personally to be at the engine. Um, many people probably know Katie Ray was our first angel investor at our little startup pill pack. And I remember talking to her when the engine was just an idea. And then now walking to, around today and seeing what it's become and the reality of it, this reflects what makes Massachusetts so special. The fact that we have world-leading universities, the most amazing re cutting-edge research um, aimed at the world's biggest problems, combined with the financial capital and venture folks, combined with amazing entrepreneurs, I mean, this shows what makes us so special. So as the governor said, we are at an interesting point in our history. So this is a once-in-a-generation opportunity where the federal government has just passed the Chips and Science Act. And what I wanted to double-click on was the immediate proposal that we are um, now working on. The deadline is later this month, and this part of the Chips uh, and Science Act is uh, um, from the Department of Defense. It's called the Microelectric Commons. And uh, I'm really excited about this particular proposal for two reasons. The first is, this is a place where we absolutely, as a state, have the right to win. 
So this, this um, part of the CHIPS Act, it's almost $2 billion from the Department of Defense, is really aimed at the most advanced technologies for national security, national defense. It's the brains behind everything that we're going to do around our, our uh, country and also around manufacturing. That is where Massachusetts has our right to win. We've historically played here. So many things have been invented here. We have amazing global leaders like Analog Devices, which we visited a few weeks ago, and we have incredible startups that we met today, all working in these areas around quantum, around um, AI, around all of the leading, uh, leading technologies. So this is a place where we should be winning to build the brains for the future uh, of our country. The second reason I'm really excited is because we are working together as a team across the whole state. So uh, MassTech, which is uh, one of our quasi-institutions in uh, that we work with, MassTech convened a group um, in 2021, so well before the act was even passed. And this is a group of a very uh, wide cross-section of leading uh, academic research in universities with um, you know, people like Lincoln Labs, with people like um, Analog Devices and many other big companies with lots of startups. And this big coalition has worked together since 2021 to try to figure out where can we best play and how can we work together to go after these federal opportunities. So we've been working since then. We've been working since the proposal came out in the fall, and now we are close to done with our proposal. And, uh, and this, I think this coalition will show um, not only you know, the power of Massachusetts, Massachusetts, but also the power of when we work together, what we can accomplish. So, um, so we're really excited about this proposal, uh, and we also know what's at stake. So for Massachusetts, what's at stake is we want to not only protect our leadership in all these areas, we want to lengthen our lead. So what's at stake for us is not only um, more funds to drive research, but also jobs and workforce skills development programs and creating factories, going from fab to lab. So we know there's a lot at stake for our state here. The other thing that's at stake is the country. And we know this is an interesting time for the world, and we want to do our part as Massachusetts to help our country continue to lead. So we are really excited, and I feel very grateful to have the support of the governor and lieutenant governor to go after this, um, this broad opportunity, but in particular, this specific Department of Defense opportunity in the next coming weeks. So thank you so much, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, and also to Katie and to Engine for all this great work. And we are in it to win it. 